Yo, yo, yo. I'm back with another video. It's your boy, Wolfmatic. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how I take out the kick from loops or sample. So, I got this from YouTube. That's a song, I Want to Know, by Joe, I think. Anyway, I'll let you hear it. I uh, transpose it already, so. Anyway, I didn't go through the whole thing. I just wanted to make this video, so. I chose the first part I could cut out. Uh, so basically, you just go to the mixer, and right here, that little button right there, the you know, channel editor, just click it, and just go to routing. Uh, I already have this thing in here, so don't worry about it. Uh, I'll remove it. I don't want to get you confused, so I'm going to remove it. All right, so the first thing you need is a splitter, All right? And then, actually, no. That's my fault. You need uh, something called a mix tool by Studio One. Uh, mix tool. All right. So that's the mix tool. So basically, it's a gain, just to add gain to your track, or you know, if you want to invert left, right, or if something's phasing, you're able to mess around with it. So, but today we're only gonna use it for the mid side. You're gonna click mid side to turn it on, and let's go back here, or you could just do it from in here. Same thing. All right. So next you need the you need the splitter. All right. So basically it's just split the the mid and the side. Um in order to complete it, you just go to channel split right here. So we're going to split both of the channels. And so basically now that you open the mid side, you need to close it cuz it's going to sound weird. Let me see. Yeah, it sound a little weird. So you need to add another mix tool. Uh, you could just duplicate it. Boom. When you're using this, this tool, the mix tool, um, once you put it back to stereo, the, the volume dropped for some reason. So you need to add six dBs back to it. Uh, you just do it. Six. All right. So let's, let's go back in here. All right, so so now this knob right here, little fader, it controlled the the mid, and this one controlled the sides. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's okay. Yeah, that's what it is. All right, so so we need to take out lower the the mid, the volume for the mid, so we could take out some of the kicks. It's not gonna be, it's not a perf, it's not perfect, but I'll get you you know, around the ballpark. And plus, when you layer your own drums, you're not even going to hear it. So let's, all right, let's hear this. Plus, while you're in here, you could do whatever you want. You could add more plugins. Let's say you want to add an EQ. You could add it to the to the side, or you could add it to the mid. Whatever you want to do. Whatever you want, um, and then from there, it's up to you. Whatever you want to do with this,
this is that's it. Um, if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe because I have more of these type of videos coming up. And if you like to see more, just let me know. Hit me in the comment. Let me know what you think of the video. Even if you don't like it, just let me know. You know, there's always room for improvement, so I don't mind. Anyway, that's it.